a glorious day out in the woods. It seems a long time. It's maybe not that long, but it seems a long time since I've done one that's not part of the community camp. We couldn't do the community camp because it was actually wet. In fact, it's been horrendous trying to get into camp today. And it's been extremely frustrating. We didn't know if we was actually going to do it because of all the damp. We had this idea of some places to go dry spots. In fact, the spot we're in here is very dry. Let me show you around the gaff. And with my mate, Nick, it's his second time he's come out. Andy, let's have a look. And I hope you're feeling new. Today, that is. That's his first time he's set his tarp up. This is a new tarp, isn't it, Nick? Yeah. Brand new tarp. So it's just a, a work in progress, isn't it? But if you look, there's plenty of space inside. It's just a simple A-frame. And we've swinged it round there, haven't we? Put it against that thing. And it's lovely and cosy in there. Now, this is the piece of kit I want to show you. Look at this twig stove, eh? And it, did it take long to boil that up? No, there's a bit of soup in it. Straight away, vegetable soup. And I've got my Stanley pan. So, you have to spend a lot of money you could just get something simple like that. The actual black round there, I've explained to him that's normal because normally they will go black like that. A lot of this soot though, you can either, you can get most of it off, but not all of it in, the, in with a bit of washing up liquid. Don't make much of pizzas though. Oh, look at this, we've got some pizzas. Have you got any more of them later? Yeah. Yeah, we were thinking about... Well, looking like that. Lo looking like that. <laughs> yeah, mm. excellent. Sorry I'm not showing Nick's head, he gets a little bit camera shy. Right, yeah, yeah, he's okay, actually. He's changed his mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. But there we are. So it's peaceful. Not going to lie, guys. We got really stressed. Because the normal path for coming here, I was expecting... I knew there was rain. There was a lot of floods at the other end. I was expecting it to be at least dry on the path in places. A bit of mud and all that lot. No. It was... It was absolutely, absolutely horrendous. You live and learn. And the rain actually has been terrible. In fact, this is the first time in a long while it hasn't actually rained. If you're in the UK, you'll know what I mean. So let me show you my little setup. And I am getting thirsty and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to show you my setup. And then if you don't mind, well, I don't care if you don't mind. I'm still going to have something to, to, to eat. And I'll show you what in a bit. New camo at the front. I got that from Moles in Newark, where I live. There's my sleeping abode. So a little bit of camo at the front, the sleeping area. It's just dropped over the front. I've got a ridge line at the front of that. It didn't take much doing. It's just that, you know, sometimes you just have to take your time with these things, but there we go. And the drop off is quite nice. There you notice I'm sleeping on the floor. I've decided I wanted to do something different because Nick's really on the floor tonight. And I thought, you know what? I w it was risky because of the water on the ground. But if you look where we are, it's actually bone dry, isn't it? It's really dry around this area. And it's quite surprising how dry it actually is. I recognise this bit of woodland. Risky spot because, to be honest, like that over there is the main path. There's only an R in, but to be honest, when they have to work, go through the bog of death, that's what we'll call it. It was, wasn't it? The bog. Walking through the bog of death. Mud, you're not joking, it was ridiculous. Some of the, some of the water is, is about three or four inches bloody deep. And all the paths are all blocked. Bloody nightmare. But it was sucking you in, yeah. It felt like you are in quicksand. Well, quick mud or whatever it is. It felt like it was someone out of a movie. Looking here, this is the normal, normal area come in and the, the path's there. So really, it's quite risky where we are. But to be truthful... It's dead. Think because it's going to get cold tonight. And one good thing is when it's cold in this time of year, people don't tend to come out much. So I am so looking forward to spring. Sure, you like rain, but I like rain to an extent. But this has been a bit of a, a mind my language, a piss take, really. It's been ridiculous. Anyway, shouldn't grumble, shouldn't moan. I'm having a chill. I'm going to have some food. Andy. So we've got... Chorizo, some chorizo jobbies, and against his favourite tasty effort.
it's starting to get dark already out there. Can you see? The light, the light is actually starting to dim. Probably the camera doesn't give it a lot of justice. The thing I do know, and I'm looking forward to it, is spring is coming soon. And I'm so ready for a that, that little bit of sunshine just before the summer. Sometimes the best time of the year. I'm ready for it. But we're going to enjoy yourself tonight. I've got some beers to drink later. So stay forward for the video. The beer tree is going to be a part of the thing. I might have a little walk around. I haven't got to go till one o'clock tomorrow. So I've got a lovely little lie in. I've got my mate Nick. He's enjoying it. At least I hope he's enjoying it. And he's having a little kip. I'm going to have a little bit of sleep myself. Because I'm feeling a bit tired and a bit weary. I'll catch you a little bit later on. It might be a bit darker by then. But who cares? Andy. Yes. The temperature's dropped down to about 5C now. It was about 8 earlier on. But it's gone down very, very quickly. Nick's fast off in there. Looks snuggled. Got the water over there. So anybody only to know how much water I take, I've already got for one bottle already. So there we go. Yeah. Not like that time, I don't know if you ever saw it in summer where on one of the summer camps, I think it was the one in Suffolk, I'd actually it was that hot and I only got one bottle of water and it lasts five minutes. That's something you must always do. Always, you must always take some water. Trust me, you need it. Earlier on, I needed a drink. As thirsty as anything. I managed to get a little bit of sip of water. And then I got my tea. And one of my herbal teas. Spot on. It's important. Important, that. Here, Gizmo. Listen. Gizmo! Don't feed him at night. You must never feed him at night. Feed Nick at night. He'll come out like a green. I'm a gremlin. Mugway. Mugway. Nick reckons he's seen the bogeyman. Reckons his red eyes are back. Well, earlier on, he shit the living daylights out of me. He says, look at them red eyes. What are you on about? This is red eyes. Old oh, red eyes is back. I didn't really know that, a beautiful south. Old oh, red eyes is back. They're only red from all the things I should have said and stayed. When you look into these eyes, oh, you realise they could never be blue. That's an old one. Anybody knows that? Show me age now. But yeah, he was shitting me up with these red eyes. <laughs> a divvy git. Look at the frog. <laughs> you doing? He's busy, look. Comes to the woods and takes his technology with him. With him. Hey? I know why. Well, I know why. I bet I can do the dance of the fire. Cool wet grass, cool wet grass, cool wet grass. You would like to think I would. I'm a Brit red in the face. Red eyes. We're in a red dress. And red rubies. And red rubies. So, what we got today then? So it's Nick the commercial. What we having today then, Nick? Well, what am I having? Mm. Eight. Great crunchy salad. Um.
New dragon trilly noodles. Dragon trilly noodles and um, Chinese curry. Chinese curry. Andy, yes. Is there enough space or not? Yeah, not been long. know what time it is? Yeah, that's right. Beer tree time. Tonight, it's a small beer tree, but quite graceful. Nice little place to sit. Yep. New beer tree for tonight. Different idea, but still a beer tree. Or a beer stump. The beer stump. Part of the beer tree. Collection. Andy. We've got about four beers here. We've got another three more in there. I doubt I'm going to get through all that lot. I thought I was going to drink a load, but I don't think I will. Probably only get through a few of them. I'm not that greedy. Sometimes I am, but not tonight. I think some of these won't get drunk, and some of those are safe for another time. There we go. What we got then? Let's go for... That's a what the hell's that one? Oh, it's a black sheep. I think I've had black sheep plenty of time before. So I'm gonna try something different. Van oh, I don't know. Irish pale ale. Now there's a lot of beers here from Ireland. So four leaf clover time. To you Irish. Okay, and it is a, it's only a 4.5, let's have a taste. Wow. Dead refreshing, that. Trying to figure out a slipper or a surfer. I think that's a slurper, but that is cracking. That's a cracking ale, that. Yes. That's frigging awesome. Andy, catch you again at the beer tree next time. Episode future or episode whenever. Oh yes, it's the leprechaun beer. Doesn't get much better than this. That for a bit of fat will go in on. Considering the ground's wet, I found that on the ground and all the resin is keeping that going. Absolutely epic. Got the baking trays going on. Tip for you, if you have a little tip for you, baking trays. If you haven't seen one of my videos when I first started to use them, it's a good little tip. Baking trays, keeping the fire off the ground and easy to dispose of all the rubbish. Epic. When you've only had four cans or you intend to only have four or five cans and you abuse it. Oh yes, I abused it. Here we go. There's two more in there. Andy, yes, a bit merry, okay. For no particular reason, I decided to go on an endless walk. 
I've seen a few spots. Everything looks different at night. Still got them two cans to drink yet. But in the daytime, I would have never seen this. And I've seen a spot just here. This looks absolutely epic. Imagine you having a plow point just drop down here. Obviously, this would be me doing it. Where as well? What a spot? It's from there to there and down, or even just literally between that tree and that tree, that tree and that tree, a hammock. But even, but I think this would really be better, to be honest, as a ground camp. Ideas, 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 ideas. It's getting late, and I'm in a little den. Everybody, catch you all in the morning. Anna D, ready for bed. Morning, everybody. I got out of bed earlier on, looking for my phone. I'd lost it, freaked out, found it in the end. So it was good. But there we go. Good night last night. And the camp looks good. It's gone back to sleep for a bit. Right then, time to go home. Why not look at some more videos? Carry on, I've got plenty in my collection. Okay, Andy.